Yo guys, what's going on? It's Power Bank bringing you guys a live attack. Starting off the video, we've got Bill versus Neverender. It's an 11 versus 11 attempt. We just lost the war to Pinoy Bandito, so congrats to them on uh, a very solid Town Hall 11 performance. Guys, 19 out of 20 hits uh, they were successful on, and we're going to lose this war. If Bill triples here, we're going to lose by one star, so a uh, little frustrating. Uh, 50 versus 50 war. It looks like if he does get it done, the final score will be 138, 137. I wanted to record the end of this live. All kinds of calls and interruptions from the misses. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? So I'll show you guys uh, my first attacks back in this video, as well as a couple of other super, super good Town Hall 10 hits. And then we've got the Queen doing her thing as well in this attack. We're going to watch Bill live. He's already got one Town Hall 11 triple in the books this war. Uh, our squad had four Town Hall 10v10 triples and two Town Hall 11 triples. And again, even with that being done and no Town Hall 10v10s on the other side, we simply didn't play well at the Town Hall 11 level on our side. Failed too many dips and it came back to bite us. So uh, looks like Bill has got a great walk going right now. This charge is super impressive. You guys get to see these level four healers doing work keeping up the queen imagine if they were level five guys this would be even more impressive eagle is now locked onto the queen once she steps up she should be out of range of that uh that eagle apparently not i, I wonder how that's in range well i guess whatever so eagle is down at this point another rage spell uh being used and that queen is gonna get all of the air defenses the eagle uh the queen like, good God, can you get any more value here for this? This is an uh, incredible charge right now. It looks like the uh, enemy King is on her. She is going to be forced to use that ability, which happens now. King is down, and uh, yeah, very, very nice work on that. So, last air defense is taken out, and it looks like it's time for the loons now. So, a heal and three haste to kind of speed things through. Got to get to the Inferno Towers quickly. We also have the Grand Warden to uh, get those through the first few Wizard Towers and the Inferno uh, pretty efficiently here. So, the Warden needs to step in. He does. He gets all of those uh, balloons in the first group. This is going ideally right now. Absolutely perfectly. The Queen has cleaned up the whole right side and is now stepping up to help out potentially on the Inferno Tower. This is going to be an easy triple here uh, for Red. So unfortunately, we had some attacks fall just short at the end of the war. And uh, holy cow, I guess it's not an easy triple. We've got time to think about eight seconds. And can we get this uh, last collector down? This looks to be a 99%, guys. Um, yeah, it's going to be a 99%. Oh, spoke too soon. That's kind of the way the war went for old WHF. Bill getting the 99%. Great effort, dude. Let's get into the rest of the attacks. That's kind of how this one went, guys. That's All right, sorry for the slow transition there. It wouldn't, uh, it wouldn't went back. And we are back now. So we lose the war 136, 138. Again, a 99% to cap off the war, a 96% just before that. So yeah, it's just kind of how it went, guys. So uh, we'll cap off the uh, the action here. Let's look at his earlier attack to kind of redeem himself. You know he's going to be pissed uh, having that one shown. So we'll, we'll kind of put this one in 2x, show you guys another Town Hall uh, 11 versus 11 hit in this war. Very, very interesting war. This was kind of an arranged matchup. I honestly don't know how we ended up hooking up with these guys or how we ended up on 50 v 50. I'd have to talk to Sean about that. But 10, 20, 20 was the breakdown. 10, 11s, 20, 10s, 29s, and we just did battle. We outplayed them significantly at Town Hall 9 and Town Hall 10, uh, but the Town Hall 11s were a different story, and they just simply, uh, they played better where the big boys are, and that's, that's what got them the win, man. So grats to the Pinoy Banditos. Um, looking really good entry here from Bill. He's got that whole side cleared there for a great funnel on the uh, balloons. And they kind of just cruise through this base, getting to that Inferno. He still hasn't used the Grand Warden's ability, and he's going to have a whole ton of balloons. Look at this grouping as he heads into the final uh, bit here. Here comes the ability right now. Oh, no, no. I thought the, uh, the ability was going to come when the Eagle was locked onto him, but apparently... The shots miss, so that's kind of fortunate. And then the uh, the haste spells get him through. Holy cow, this one was close too, guys. He had some balloons there. Pretty low health. Look at that. 
He had one at full health and then a few, uh, very, very little. But nice work on the three-star, dude. Bill getting it done for the, the, the Town Hall 11 triple. Awesome work on that. We also had Fighter Legend with the Town Hall 11 triple. Almost a third Town Hall 11 triple at the end, and it still wouldn't have mattered. That's kind of how this war went for us. Um, Fighter Legend, though, bringing a couple of Valks to go with the King, as well as the Queen and the Kill Squad, and 28 Balloons, 11 Minions in this one. Uh, so a really, really good push here to get the Queen and Air Defense and the Inferno Tower. Um, that is kind of what it's looking like. So the King's going to beat through the wall after... Uh, you know, he tries to get to that queen. Doesn't get there, but the queen's going to follow that up. So, here we go. Let's see if this is going to work. She uses the ability, and we're not even going to get... Like, how did this triple? How did this triple, honestly? He didn't get through the wall. He didn't get the Inferno. Didn't get the air defense, but it's it's just not going to matter. So, we'll drop it on 2x again. You can see he just horseshoes it around on the top. Surgically deploys. Gets those corner uh, buildings down. Hastes right there with the, uh, the group on the top. And then forces everything through the core. Beautiful uh, Grand Warden ability there. And an awesome freeze on that backside. And this thing, honestly, loon deployment for the win. That heal spell gets everything good to go on the backside. So that was absolutely destroyed despite the entry not being what he had hoped. So moving on to some other attacks. We had some really good 10v10 action this war. Let's go ahead and show a couple of those. Um, who else did we have? Who else did we have? Let's look for... Jeeper on 26, I believe, had a really solid hit. Um, 20 Hog Riders on this one, guys. We'll show this one kind of in 2x. I just want to do kind of a recap of some really sweet attacks that I saw in the 50v50 war with Pinoy Banditos 1. So, in comes a Baby Dragon. We've got the external uh, balloons taking down that cannon. Good to go. And then here we go. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Queen, giant combo on top, and her goal is to take out as much of that stuff on top as possible. Get those wizard towers and isolate the Inferno. We've got Bowlers and King coming in, and they're going to go for that Queen on the entry. So it looks like a poison spell down for the minions in the CC as well as that Queen. Looking good so far, guys. Here comes the Hogs. They're going to actually protect the bowlers. The timing on those was great. Now the bowlers can act as the cleanup squad that goes around the outside of the base. Freeze heal combo on the Inferno and Wiz Tower there. That's going to get those hogs through no problem. And it's all about having them full health going into that final quadrant with the Inferno Tower and the Wizard Tower. They get pretty low, but simply too many left alive uh, for the Inferno Tower to deal with. Absolutely smashes the base with hogs. Hogs guys look pretty freaking solid. Um, at Town Hall 10. So looking through the Town Hall 10s even longer, we had Jeeper with one. We had Red with an amazing Town Hall 10 versus 11 hit. I'm going to show that one as well. Uh, so we're going to throw this one in 4x to start. We've got the Queen Walk coming in. He's got an exposed wall kind of open right here with the Dark Spell Factory. Uh, the Queen's going to go in. So he just keeps using Rages over and over and over. He's going to get the uh, the air defenses down here. And what he's doing is breaking off a funnel. One key building is this Dark Elixir Drill. He targets it with a Trailing Wizard to knock that out while the Queen is taking out the enemy clan castles. So it looks like the Poison Spell takes out the clan castle with the help of the Queen. She continues the walk after taking out that Tesla is forced to go to the Eagle, gets it done, and continues around the, uh, the left side of the base. Now, Golem down to cover for the King and the Bowlers. That's going to join up with the Queen and continue working around the left side of this base. The Queen actually forcing the, the Hero and the bowlers around the outside instead of to the inside. You can see her starting to go through the wall now. And here we go. Jump spell is going down. Queen hops the wall. Starts taking some Inferno Fire. That's okay, though, because we got Valkyries trailing in with a Rage spell on the Town Hall. Completely destroys it. Hop the wall. They even had enough left to get the Queen and the Inferno Tower on the bottom there. And the bowlers still alive around the outside of this base. Healers transfer. Keep the bowlers alive. Bowlers take out some buildings. The clock runs out. He ends up with a 70. 7% 2 star on a Town Hall 11. Really nice work on that one. Let's continue to look at some uh, some raids here from the Town Hall 10, guys. Um, we showed Jeeper. Sean 2 had some really close calls. We had White Walker King. His, his second attack fell short on time. He needed five more seconds for the triple. That would have put us in a position to win the war with the Town Hall 11 triple at the end. Even though Bill fell half a millisecond short, getting the 11v11 11 11 triple, it would have been more, much more exciting. 
So here is another attack. Six haste spells in this one as well as a rage. This is going to be White Walker King taking on D-Zone here. He's patient with the archers, makes a nice funnel for the king to start working his way into this base. And it looks like 30 balloons in this one, guys. So that's a, a very heavy balloon kill squad. Wall breakers go down and he's gonna waltz a suicide queen straight in to get the Inferno Tower. Look at how close this was. This was uh, a very clutch attack, had to be done. He gets the Expo first, locks onto the Inferno Tower, and as he's going down, gets the shot off that takes it out. Now we've got a Loon Kill Squad coming in from the bottom right. He takes out that Mortar right there with the two balloons at the bottom key because it forces the balloons into the core, as you can see, to take out the rest of those defenses. Double Skelly down on the Queen. She is now down, and in come from the backside a whole bunch of balloons. Looking really good. Hay spell for the final uh, Inferno Tower. He gets it done. Heal spell to keep everything up for the uh, Wizard Tower. And Backside Balloon Distract, the only Wizard Tower that was out of range of the heals. So really nice work on that one from White Walker King. Fell just short trying to pick up the six pack. We didn't quite get it done. Really nice try to him on that. So can't all be heroes every single attack. Good God. We had Miro Rezi with the three star here on number 29. And this was the dragon attack. We're going to roll out 4x for the start of this one. Get the bowlers to get their uh, funneling created. Check this out, though, guys. Skipping onto uh, the air defense for a, a nice air defense takeout. And then a zap quake for the core to get that done. And then wall breakers for the queen to get in after she's already taken out one air defense. She's going to get a second one as well. Suicide hero entry. Gotta love it. Just the support of some wall breakers there. She's going to continue down the wall. Still has her ability left. And that is going to be an absolute massive value on the entry. Only thing left now are dragons to take out the rest of this base. So looking pretty good. Baby dragons for the funnel. He's also got, it looks like, nine balloons in the camp. Another seven balloons in the CC. We'll see what comes out of this one. Uh, Queen is finished up and she is going to continue with the cleanup. So in from the bottom now, we've got the dragons coming in. Loons on both sides to help out. And here you see the rages pushing them through. Dragons still really have not been hit. This is just a really, really solid, solid attack. Backside balloons in for the Teslas. What can you say, man? Expertly, uh, expertly done. He's going to get all this stuff taken out. No problem at all. Crushes the base. Miro with a solid, solid attack. All right, guys. Next up, we are almost out of time here for today. Let's show, uh, let's show one of mine. This is a dip attack, guys. That's kind of my role in the war, along with most of the 11s, is to dip down and take out the 10s. But you guys have been wanting to see like my first raid back, or uh, just any raid of mine. Uh, so I'll show it to you. So this was on one of their top town hall 10s. Um, I came in and took this base out here. We started off with some funneling and uh, some extra damage with the wizards to kind of help a naked uh, suicide hero entry. We dropped in some on this side for funnel creation. And then ultimately we are going to drop in the king and the queen to start working our way in. Now, if you look at this base, what I really wanted was all of these archer towers, this expo, this air defense, uh, the queen. So we're gonna drop a jump spell there to help a king get over the wall and help the queen do some work as well. So there's the jump spell to give access to the queen. Perfectly placed, not bleeding into this uh, cannon compartment. Uh, but the queen should lead the king over in just a moment. So queen and king start working their way through the town hall, through these high hit point things. Giants come in in front to tank for the queen, just buying a little bit of extra time. There's the ability. We get in, get the enemy queen, and now it's time to get these archer towers taken care of as well. So we've got the archer towers down with the exception of one of them. We get the air defense, we get the queen. So all in all, a very successful entry there. And it's now time for the loons. So here we go. We've got loons coming in. Uh, we're going to target this cannon here. So they'll go cannon to wizard tower to infer and then we'll just send in uh, some from this other front side as well. Here comes the uh, the Hound over the top targeting this air defense here. Looking pretty good so far. And uh, kind of a mistake on this balloon deployment. Honestly, it was a little late and unneeded. Uh, so we just kind of send in from the left side here enough to kind of overwhelm, meet up with the initial uh, group here. And then because the Inferno Towers were so far apart from each other, I brought a heal spell for the core of this base, trying to get all of those loons up to full health before we went into the backside of the base. Uh, so everything kind of pushing through. Um, it's looking pretty dominant, I, I do, do say myself. So heal spell up, gets all those balloons up to full. And then a rage spell for the last section. Um, yeah, late uh, warden ability. We get those loons all invulnerable heading into the last little section of this base. Uh, I, do, do you need a few more balloons left alive, Power Bang? I don't know. Uh, so this thing got absolutely wrecked. We end up cleaning it up, no problem. PB getting the triple on his first raid back. Last attack. Um, this one was kind of stupid because it was a clean, like, Sean was supposed to triple it. 
Uh, it didn't work out. He got super close on a 92%. So being that, you know, it was end of the war, we had to have every single star. I end up having to hit this one. So this was a very, very basic um, attack with Max Miners. We dropped in some giants to buy a little extra time for the heroes. Uh, we start with the, the king and the queen on each side and then send in the miners. We have a couple rages for them. We have a poison for the balloon and then uh, four heals and, and two rages. We ended up not needing all of the heals. The, or the, uh, the miners cruise straight through the base, just completely destroying this one. The queen used her ability. And that is that. So the double cannon unfortunately targets the queen at the very end, but again, almost all of the miners survive, make it out to the back side of the base. That is also cleaned up. So guys, that was uh, a turbo episode. Whole lot of things happening there, but wanted to kind of recap this crazy war. Again, congrats to the Pinoy Banditos. Uh, we took care of them on percentage, but unfortunately, that's not where it counts. Mad props to the Town Hall 11s at Pinoy Banditos. One, you guys were awesome. 19 out of 20 hit rate for their guys. 95% guys. That is incredible. Anyways, that is all I got for this episode, guys. If you liked it, hit the like button for me. Sub if you're new to the channel, and I'll be back tomorrow with some more mobile gaming content. Not sure what yet, if it's Clash or Brawl Stars. We'll see. Take care, guys. We'll see you soon.